it's Jasmine and today I have another holiday look. This look I have been thinking about for the past like month, month and a half and I finally did it and I now feel one, very complete and two, like I need to go somewhere but honestly finals are next week and all I'm going to be doing is studying so I'm just going to study in this makeup because you know what, when you look good, you feel good and you can do a lot okay with that self-confidence so I hope you guys all enjoy the look this is an emerald green with a silver half cut crease I hope you guys all enjoy the look it was fairly simple to do and I gave you guys a lot of detail on how to recreate it so I hope you guys all enjoy and let's get started since I don't have a lot of greens in my collection I'm gonna be using a lot of palettes today so bear with me but you know if you have a different collection than I do, then definitely go with what you have. It's all about the technique. So I want to go in with something a little bit more cool tone to start off this look because that's kind of where I want to gear this look towards since I don't really do a lot of cool tone makeup looks. So here I have my Supreme Seductress palette by Juno & Co. Well, I bought it on Juno & Co. This is by Prism Makeup. And they have a cool tone side to this palette. I do have a full review on it, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So I think I'm going to start off with this shade up here. It is a tan shade, but I feel like it's pretty neutral and then I could deepen it up with something a little bit like this to get the look going. So I'm going to go ahead and take that with my Sigma E40 and I'm going to just buff these two shades into my crease just so I could get a good transition in base down because greens are kind of hard to blend and I want to make sure that this is going to help the greens lay down better. With any look, especially ones that I'm dealing with color, I always bring the transition just a little higher just because I want to make sure that at the end of the look, it starts to look a little bit more blended into my skin. So I think now I want to go into the green. So I have the green from the Makeup Revolution Emily the Wands palette. This shade down here called Corduroy, that one is a beautiful emerald green. I also have a review on this palette on my channel if you're wondering about it as well. But I want to use this as my main color focus. I have other greens as well, but I really wanted to focus on this one because it is such a dark foresty emerald green and I think it really ties into the holiday season. So I'm just going to take this on a For Less ME3 and I'm going to apply this pretty low into my crease and of course I'm going to blend it into the transition as best as I can and I'm just just going to be working very very slowly with this shade because it is very dark. This is starting to look really intense and before I add any brightness to it I want to continue to deepen out my outer corner so I'm going to take a black. So there is already a black in the palette you can use any black that you have and I'm just going to go ahead and only pat it into the outer corner because I want this part to really be intense and really be smoky. I've also went ahead and blended out the shadow in kind of a cat eye shape because I personally like the way that looks on my eye shape. I think that it brings out and accentuates my eyes. After I add the black, I always go into the brush that I have the green on and I will just blend the two together to make sure that it's fully blended in because black is a pretty tricky color to work with and you want to make sure that you can get it as blended out as possible. So if you compare this side to this side, you could definitely see now there's more of a cat shape and it's also blended at the same time. With my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, I'm almost out of this. I'm actually going to use this to carve my cut crease. I'm only going to do a half cut crease today since I already applied the black in the outer corner. I personally like just doing half cut creases because one, it's easier, and two, since I have smaller eyes, I think that it makes my eyes look a little bit bigger. So that's the reason why I prefer half cut creases as opposed to full cut creases. I pretty much just start in the inner corner here. And I just drag the brush, either it could be the doe foot or a regular brush across my eye like this. And I am continuing to switch my positions to see what shape of the cut crease looks the best. And it's always easier to add more concealer because you can't take it away. This is, this is gonna be finalized, you know what I mean? 
We're going to go back into the Supreme Seductress palette and you guys may notice this really beautiful silver shade right here. That's going to go all over my eyelid where I place that concealer. I'm going to pack this on my eyes with my Sigma E30 and typically this is a brush that I use for my inner corner but I have no other brushes that I want to sacrifice for this so I'm just going to be using this one. And then here at the edge where the silver meets the black, I just like to take that same brush and just run it along the edge and it'll blend for you. So now I don't have to go back in with the black because blacks are hard to blend in and instead the silver kind of just fades in. As you can see, my eyes just look so much more open, so much more glam, and I don't know if I want to go in with winged eyeliner simply because my eyeshadow is already in that shape, and I feel like it looks softer without doing the eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like the eyeliner will make it too dramatic, so I think I might just finish off the lower lash line, and then I'll see from there if I do want to go in with the winged eyeliner or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of do the same technique that I did on my upper lid to my bottom lid, my lower lash line, I should say. Um, and so that's just going to be those transition shades. It's going to be followed up with the green, and then the black is going to be placed very close to my lower lash line. All that I really did was add some cold liner to my upper and lower waterline, which is the Bare Minerals Lasting Line in the shade Absolute Black. The stuff is good, and it used to be my ride or die, but I've found better ones out there now. But this one is still really, really good if you're into Bare Minerals. And then for liquid liner, I'm going to go in with the Stila Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I don't think I'm going to go in with the wing. I'm just going to add the black eyeliner just so my lashes can look a little bit more natural and cohesive with the look. Lashes, I applied Demi G's. I don't know if these are too dramatic, but you know what? We're rolling with it. It's a holiday look. We could, we could do the most if we want to. So I think for my cheeks, since I already have a little bit of cream contour on, I think I'm just going to do a light layer of bronzer contour. So I have my Shop Missy Lotus palette with me, and I think I'm just going to go in with that middle shade and the lightest shade um, in the bronzer selection, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my cheeks. And I think that this is going to give me the best like low-key bronzer effect. I'm also going to take the lightest contour shade and I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my nose. And I like to start at the tip of the nose and work my way up simply because I don't have any shadow towards the tip of my nose but I have a lot of shadow towards the bridge of my nose. As far as my blush and highlight are concerned, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Shop Missy Majesty palette and I'm just going to play with some of the shades just so I could get the perfect blush and highlight effect. Probably the darkest maroon shade for my blush and probably the second to lightest shade for my highlight. As this look is progressing, I'm looking less and less like Jasmine. Thank you so much. <laughs> My lips, I do want to go in with a nude, but I'm going to go in with a nude lip combination that I haven't done in quite some time now, which is the Smashbox Safe Board and Smashbox Nylon Nude. These two will offer me a rosy nude, but also give my lips a little bit of sheen and gloss without being glossy. I don't know. They offer just a really nice sheen to the lips, and that's the reason why I'm choosing this lip combination in particular. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with a little bit of Fix Plus and this should just melt all the powders in together. look I hope you guys all really enjoy this look honestly now that I'm looking at it looks so similar to a look that I uploaded last year where I did blue and gold uh, so if you want to see that look I'll definitely have that link somewhere up above but I really love this type of green because it's so unique and it's nothing like this navy you know what I mean like I feel like now since it's winter everybody's wearing navy but no one really is going for the greens and if you have any other color combinations and please let me know. I'm always down to listen to what you guys have to offer. So I hope you guys all enjoy and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out Girl Scouts.